Do you like someone that grumbles or complains over everything? Like, he always has a complaint over everything there is. Do you like that person? Oh, you don't. Neither do I. But it is so common now on earth that everybody complains. Sometimes we don't even know we are doing that. Welcome to Tony Clown Sunday School Class. Today's edition is going to be another interesting one. So, are you ready? All right. I'm going to be illustrating complaining with a sheet of paper. What can you see? A dot? Oh, a black dot. Well, what I have here is a perfect sheet of paper that happens to have a small tiny little bitty dot so often we are prone to point out to a tiny bad in a situation rather than focusing on the good in that situation as you can see my sheet of paper it's all clear and clean just this dot and it took all your attention this is what complaining is all about. While preparing for this lesson, I took time to ask some children what upsets or irritates them and here are their responses. I hate it when someone's changed the TV channel when I'm watching a cartoon. I hate it when mommy wants me to eat the food I don't like. I hate it when someone farts or belge around me. I hate it when mommy gives me too much house chores. When he knows I won't concentrate on my games. We have probably all been told by our parents not to grumble or complain. But why does it matter? What does the Bible have to say about complaining and grumbling? Okay, so now it's time to open the scriptures. Open your Bible with me to Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Okay, are you there? Philippians 2, 14. We'll read 14 and 15. Okay, let's go. Do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and Pure children of God without faults in a rapt and crooked generation. Then you will shine among them like star in the sky. What does the Bible say about people that does not complain or grumble? The Bible says they will stand out. They are going to shine like star. It will be so obvious that they are different from every other human being in the world. What should we do instead of complaining, murmuring, grumbling, arguing? What are we supposed to do? Here's what the Bible says. We're going to be reading from Philippians chapter 4 verse 4. I will read 4 to 6. Yes, 4 to 6. Okay, so are you ready? It goes like this. Rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation. In what? Every situation. By prayer and petition with thanksgiving. Present your request to God. According to where we just read, rather than complaining or grumbling or murmuring or arguing, what does God want us to do? He wants us to rejoice. Yes, He wants us to rejoice. He wants us to be happy. He wants us to be prayerful. And He wants us to give thanks in every situation. God wants us to give thanks in every situation. And if we're doing this, it separates us from everybody in the whole world. It makes us to be a different kind of human being. Don't you want to be different? Don't you want to shine like star? All you need to do is what the Bible has said. So, let us pray together. Are you ready? Okay. So, you say this after me. 
Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. I am grateful for all you have done for me. Teach and help me to be thankful in all things. I receive the gift of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we sing the song of the day, this is the challenge for the week. So I want you to do it, then send it to me. It's time for the song of the day. The song is very simple. It's about joy. Since Jesus Christ has given us joy, that's all we have to sing. So it goes like this. I have joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. J-O-Y down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus gave it to me so no one can destroy it. I have joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Now let's sing it again. I have joy down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. J O Y down in my heart. Deep, deep down in my heart. Jesus gave it to me. And no one can destroy it. I have joy down in my heart deep deep down in my heart thank you see you some other time say bye bye